Welcome to Kai 2019. Or as we say in Scots Gaelic, Kiat Mila Falcher, which means a hundred thousand welcomes. And Ramadan Mubarak uh, for all of those who are observing it. And we are your general chair team. It's not just the two of us because we couldn't have got here without the contributions of our wonderful assistants, Kata and Aris. So we thank them. Um, and they were even game enough to join us in this incredibly embarrassing photo <laughs> that we shall move on quickly from. Um, the theme of our conference is weaving the threads of Kai and our Celtic Knot logo is a symbol of strength and friendship where threads are interconnected and interwoven. And we are all the threads of Kai and we invite you to interconnect and interweave over these next days. So for this year, we've had 3,774 registrations, which is a fantastic number. Uh, uh, that's a lot of people weaving together over the next few days. This makes us the second biggest Kai. Just, we just missed the target of 3,800 from San Jose. We are super happy we've got so many people here. Okay, thank you. Some stats from where we're all from. Well, we have 68 different countries represented in, in the uh, attendees. As you can see, we've got the majority from the US, got from the UK and from Germany, but many other countries. So welcome to you all. And as you can see from this slide, uh, at least 44% of people in the audience are first timers. And I know a lot of you came to the um, opening reception, uh, the first timers reception last night. So welcome to you. Now, sadly, somebody who couldn't be here today is um, David Benyon. So let's take a moment to remember David, who died last year. So he was a professor at Edinburgh Napier University, uh, a pioneer in HCI since 1984, an author of one of the key textbooks, uh, and a mentor and friend to many of, of people sitting in the audience. He was also a big influence on me and my, uh, and my start when I came to Scotland in the first place. And he would love to have been here as well. We couldn't organize a conference of this size without a huge cast of volunteers and, and um, experts helping us. And to illustrate the scale of work, we have a Slack channel and there were 50,000 messages sent just on the Slack channel alone to organize this, not counting all of the other communications. So we thank everyone for participating and contributing to making this happen. This year we've been weaving a few new threads as well. So those of you who submitted papers will have had the joy of PCS2. Uh, we have a new registration system which you'll have all used. Uh, and it's been ably supported by uh, our new logistics team, Executive Events, who've done a great job. There's been also some uh, challenges. For example, for a while the ACM was, as, was listed as a, a spammer and all of our mails were getting blocked. Uh, we had the template wars. You can see uh, uh, someone modeling the t-shirt there. Uh, and we also had the threat of Brexit. But we survived them all and made Kai 2019 happen. Another thing we've been thinking a lot about is um, sustainability. So that was really important to us. And we've taken some steps to make Kai uh, greener, starting with the virtual PC meeting, which saved a lot of flights. Uh, we've made a lot of other uh, positive choices, including locally sourced food that you get to try in the breaks. All the uh, paper waste, uh, paper, water and coffee cups are compostable, um, so you can put them in the recycling bins around the centre. And we hope that you all enjoy using your recycled water bottle. One uh, of the other highlights for this year is the interactivity. We've got 50 hands-on prototypes, artworks, design experiences, and inspirational technologies, including a special 20-year anniversary exhibition from Nottingham University's MRL. That will open this evening uh, in Hall 4 with the reception, and then continues on into the coffee breaks throughout the conference. Equity and inclusion are also really important for CHI, and this year we have a new initiative um, set up by our equity chairs, and part of this is having a team of allies that you'll see walking around the conference wearing badges who'll be safe, friendly faces for you to approach if needed. 
and we're also continuing and extending many of the initiatives from previous years, as you can see here. And we also um, want to invite you to contribute to being part of this, just with simple little things like using the microphones um, in the sessions for questions and, and answers. And please, no flash photography. We also have lots of opportunities for social weaving. So there was the newcomers reception last night, and we also have uh, lots of other open and inclusive events every evening so that people can have some way, some places to gather and, and uh, hang out together. And there are lots of spaces across the venue as well that you'll find as you navigate your way around this interesting space. And so what about the unicorns? So you might have seen unicorns lying around the place. They're also on the uh, student volunteers' t-shirts. Well, uh, the unicorn is uh, Scotland's national animal. And if you want to get your hands on one of these cute unicorns, then you can get them from the registration desk. But be warned, they're uh, going very quickly. Right, the next thing we need to do uh, is thank our sponsors. First of all, our champion sponsor, Alibaba Group. <laughs> Baidu. <laughs> Bloomberg. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Microsoft. and the National Science Foundation. And Verizon Media. Special thanks also to our contributing sponsors, Autodesk, Huawei, IBM Research, and Mozilla, Sixa, and University of Glasgow. And special thanks to our friends of Kai Adobe Systems, Elsevier, and Uber. Um, we are particularly grateful for the support of our parent organizations, ACM and SIGKAI. And I would like to invite onto the stage the ACM president, Sherry Pancake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, it's a great pleasure to be here at CHI. I have the honor to be serving as president of ACM, the world's largest society for computing professionals. Did you know that ACM has almost 100,000 members worldwide? We, our headquarters is located in New York, but ACM has become a truly global organization with almost half our members working and living outside the United States. We serve the community in 190 different countries with our conferences, publications, webinars, and learning resources. We're also very engaged in computing education and the development of curriculum guidelines around the world. What you may not know is that ACM is also the oldest computing society. It was founded in 1947 by some of the world's very first computer scientists. Their goal was to advance the science development, construction, and application of what they called the new machinery for computing, reasoning, and handling information. It's really quite amazing that 70 years later, those, that goal is so relevant today. In fact, this conference, the CHI conference, is a perfect example of just how central computing technology has become in everyone's daily lives. It transforms everything we do all the time. And this conference as the flagship event for SIGCHI is especially important because it brings together so many different perspectives, everything from psychology and anthropology to ergonomics and interface design. I'd like to say, as long as I mentioned SIGCHI, how many of you are members of SIGCHI? Okay, I'm a member too, that's why my hand's up. I was, um, 
originally an anthropologist and then turned usability engineer. But Sig Kai does incredible things for the community. If you are not a member, I would really encourage you to join before registering for next year's conference. Among other things, it'll save you hundreds of dollars on registration, but there are lots of other benefits of being part of the Sig Kai community. My personal favorite is the really incredible array of conferences and symposia that Sig Kai hosts every year. You'll hear a little bit about that from the next speaker, but it really is amazing to see an organization that encompasses all the ways that humans interact with technology and the effects that those interactions have on our lives and on society. So please do consider joining it. I will add one other thing that ACM leadership, we only go to a handful of conferences each year, but we are here because of the importance of the CHI conference. I'm not the only one. The vice president of ACM is right down here, Elizabeth Churchill, who's part of the organizing committee for this conference. Um, our publications chair, Joe Constance, is here somewhere, too, in the audience. Our chief executive officer, our chief operating officer, our director of SIG services. That's unusual, and what it really is is a tribute to your conference organizers and to SIG Chi for the amazing breadth of what they actually manage to do to serve the, so many different facets of the computing community. So, I'd like to mention also one other thing that we have representatives from the ACM's Europe Council here. This year, for the first time, they're sponsoring the Best Paper Award. And I encourage you to look at the research and go see the presentation tomorrow of the award at 4 p.m. as they t the researchers talk about mental health screening using mobile devices. It's really very interesting research. So congratulations to the organizers of the conference, to Sig Kai, and to you for coming to what really promises to be a special event this year. Kai is an amazing example of the magic that happens when you get researchers, software developers, educators, and students all together from many fields to share ideas and innovation. And that's what ACM is all about, building bridges among all the people involved in computing. So we're very proud to be involved with this event. And now I have the pleasure of introducing the current president of Sig Chi, Helena Mentis. Well, good morning. It is my pleasure to say a few words of welcome on behalf of Sig Chi, the organization. Sig Chi is ACM's special interest group on computer human interaction, one of almost 40 uh, special interest groups in the ACM, and we are the second largest. It is the organization that sponsors this CHI conference. You can find us on the web at SIGCHI.org. Um, we actively tweet at SIGCHI. You can tweet it at us right now. We have a YouTube channel, ACM SIGCHI, with thousands of videos and where your talks this week will uh, reside. And a Facebook page and a LinkedIn page, both at ACM SIGCHI. So there's lots of opportunities to find us. But SIGCHI is not just a faceless organization. Its executive committee is 12 individuals from our community. They are all here in this audience right now, and you can spot them wearing a purple ribbon on their name tag. So go up to them, talk with them, find out about SIGCHI, and share your views on the needs of the HCI community. But SIGCHI as an organization is even bigger than just those 12 executive committee members. It includes multiple committees and subcommittees, chapters around the world, inclusion teams, editors, awards committees, publications committees, conference committees, and representatives on the ACM level committees. And all of those positions are held by volunteers. Volunteers that are here in this room, part of our HCI community. We are a volunteer-led organization, and the community is our lifeblood, all of you. 
So for those who don't know what Sikai is, what do we do? Our prior president crafted this phrase, and I'm sticking with it. We support, empower, and grow the global HCI community. We do this first by supporting 24 annual and biannual conferences around the world. Last year, over 9,000 participants took part in these conferences, and you can find a list of all of them, as well as the upcoming conferences, on our website. And on this map, it depicts the location of all of the 336 sponsored and 499 in cooperation conferences we have supported since SIGCHI's founding in 1983. And you can see that we take a global view of our conference portfolio to reach out to new regions and communities. You should keep your eyes open for these banners around the corridors here at the CHI conference, representing the family of SIG CHI conferences. Take a look at them, and you might see that your interest may also be served by one of these conferences. We also provide funding mechanisms for our community's members, including the SIG CHI Development Fund, for any SIG CHI member to propose and lead activities like summer winter schools on a special topic or an outreach event. We also have travel grants for students, um, like the aptly named student travel grant system, for any student to receive funding to present their work at an HCI event, or the Gary Marsden Fund for those in developing regions to support their participation in an HCI conference. And new this year is the Early Career Mentorship for Developing Communities Fund for early career scholars in HCI or user experience from UNESCO list of developing countries to participate in a meeting for mentorship. We also support ACM SIGCHI local chapters to serve the special needs of the, the local HCI communities. And as of this year, we have 56 chapters in 38 different countries, and our commitment to supporting new HCI strongholds is shown by 22 out of 56 chapters are now in the Global South. Finally, this year, SIGCHI has assembled a CHI 2030 Vision Task Force to help create visions for the future of the CHI Conference. You can find the members of the Visioning Task Force in Hall 4, or you can go to chi2030.vision to have your say on how to design the best possible future of this conference series. You can also tweet at chi2030v with your ideas or challenges. Make sure our vision reflects your vision. Likewise, if you want to hear the state of the SIG CHI organization or hear from the CHI steering committee, you can join us on Wednesday for lunch in the LAMAD auditorium. In order to be prepared for your questions, though, um, we, and we want to ensure that uh, all questions are equitably addressed, we ask that you pre-submit your questions via Slido. So you can go to slido.com and enter the code X065. And there you will be able to submit your questions and we will organize and combine them in order to be efficient and effective to be able to report to the community on Wednesday at the town hall. And now I have the pleasure of announcing the Sig Chi Award winners. These are the distinguished members of our community. They have been recognized by Sig Chi this year for their work. Please hold your applause until I have announced all of the award recipients. Sikai Lifetime Research Award, Hiroshi Ishii. Sikai Lifetime Practice, Daniel Rosenberg. Sikai Lifetime Service, Bill Hefley. Sikai Social Impact, Jillian Hayes. Sikai Outstanding Dissertation Award winners, we have three this year. Chris Elsden, Anna Maria Fight, and Robert Shaw. Sikai Academy, we have eight Sikai Academy uh, inductees this year. George Fitzmorris, Batia Friedman, Takeo Garishi, Jennifer Mankoff, 
Nuria Oliver, Lauren Trevine, Jacob Wolbrock, and John Zimmerman. Please join me in congratulating all of our awards recipients. And now, welcome your CHI 2019 Technical Program Chairs, Anna Cox and Vasilis Kostakos. So we'd like to thank everyone who submitted to CHI this year. It's been a record year. We received 4,652 submissions, which is 697 more than last year. Strangely enough, 4,652 is close to the height of Scotland's tallest mountain, Ben Nevis. It's also nearly half the number of items in the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. Of those submissions, 1,298 were accepted across 14 different types of content. Now the conference kicked off on what many of us consider to be a really important day of the year, May the 4th. To celebrate, we had a weekend packed with 35 workshops, six symposia and the doctoral consortium. This year we've introduced part day workshops so that we were able to fit more of them into the program and increase participation across a wider range of topics. Over the coming four days, you'll be able to see some of the 299 sessions that will be running in 22 parallel tracks. This is a list of all the different types of content that you'll be able to uh, go and have a look at. The largest track, of course, is papers, which takes up about 55% of the programme. And you can see on this graph that we have the largest papers track ever. So how did that happen? Well, we received 2,960 submissions, which was a 14% increase compared to last year. Following the rigorous review process, we accepted 703 papers, so the acceptance rate was just under 24%. That review process alone involved over 11,000 reviews consisting of more than 6 million words. In fact, if we printed all of those reviews on a single line, they would reach from Glasgow to Edinburgh and halfway back again. Um, but in addition to the papers track growing, uh, other parts of the conference have been growing as well. For example, I'm not sure if you know how big the late breaking, breaking work track is. This year we got 776 submissions and we accepted 342 of them. That's a 25% increase over last year. That's great. And there was more than 2,300 reviews in that track, uh, writing three quarters of a million words in their reviews. These guys and the chair did an amazing job. Um, so we have more than 250 items on the program and we hope you're gonna find them entertaining, interesting, exciting, perhaps provocative. Um, but it will help you actually find what to see and what to attend in this conference. We've got you covered. Uh, hopefully you've received uh, this uh, sheet of paper at the registration desk. It's a conference at a glance. So it has all the sessions and the times and dates where everything is taking place. It's only one sheet of paper and we're saving lots of trees. If you want more details, you can head on to our website and download a PDF of the print program. Uh, you can check the web program itself. Uh, you can go to confer and, and see what uh, papers you want to attend. Um, and also we have uh, a, a mobile app that you can download. It's called Sikai and it has all the details there as well. If you want even more details about how the, the conference and the program this year weaves itself and how our research weaves itself this year, um, you can thank Joshua Preston from Georgia Tech who made this wonderful website uh, of uh, the, the whole technical program this year, uh, looking at the keywords and how the papers relate to each other. And if you actually head on to that website, 
you'll find out that perhaps, not surprisingly, uh, the most popular keyword this year was virtual reality. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that the second most popular keyword was accessibility. I think that's wonderful. Yeah, that's great. So we have such a wonderful, wide, and rich program, and we can guarantee you two things. Um, one, there's going to be times where you're going to be spoiled for choice and not know which session to attend because there's going to be so many wonderful sessions running at the same time. But also, we've scheduled downtime for you, and you can take some time, sit and relax, meet new people, and make new friends. Um, this great, wonderful program has only been made possible by the contribution of a large number of people. We had 116 members in the organizing committee working really hard, 541 members in the multiple uh, uh, program committees across all the tracks, and almost 4,000 external reviewers. Please join me in thanking them. Thank and finally, a, a, a personal and very special thanks from myself and Anna to our great assistants, Kathy and Niels. They worked tirelessly, countless hours, um, uh, helping to make sure that Anna and myself remain sane during this process. They deserve a very, very special thank you. Uh, so please join me in thanking them. And please buy them some beer if you see them. So now I'd like to turn over to uh, Steve and Geraldine. And me and Anna would like to wish you, have, have a great, great Kai! Kai! And we just want to say a special thanks to Anna and Vaz because you have no idea the scale of the job that they've done, they and their team, so thank you. And we also couldn't have a great conference if we didn't have this team of student volunteers ably led by Haley and Jess. So you'll note the student volunteers wearing their purple unicorn t-shirts.